Remain, remain standing like that. Listen very well. Listen very well. Listen very well. And it came to pass. I'm reading Luke chapter 11. Just listen. We came here to pray and I want us to pray immediately. I want us to pray. Listen to the reason why you will must pray this night. I want us to do something tonight. Listen, I'm going to read the scripture. Luke 11. Luke chapter 11 is prayer. It's about prayer. Hallelujah. Okay. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place where he sees, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray. As John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, when you pray, say our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done as in heaven, uh, uh, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread and forgive us our, our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Now see where I am going. Verse 5. And he said unto them, continuation of teach us to pray. Teach us how to pray. Then he wants to explain how to pray. And he said unto them, which of you shall have a friend? And shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves. And Jesus told his disciples, He said, From now I call you my friends. And we are now at midnight here. For a friend of mine, this is his reason. This is the reason why that man went in the middle of the night. For this is the reason, or this is the reason, and I know why I'm emphasizing this. The person had a reason, had a reason. Somebody here, you have a reason to be here this night. If you had a, if you have any reason to be here this night, shout Namio. Okay, now you. Okay. This is this was his friend's reason. For a friend of mine in his journey has come to me, and I have nothing to say before him. And he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not. The door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him because he is his friend, yet because of his disturbance, his persistence, his importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he needed. As many as he needed. Whatever you need, as many as you need, it shall be given to you tonight. And Jesus Christ said, this is the words of Christ himself. And I said unto you, ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. He said, for everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth unto him that knocketh. It shall be opened. And in Isaiah chapter 41, 1 verse 21, Isaiah 41 and verse 21, the Spirit of the Lord is telling the children of God, produce your cause, saith the Lord. He said, bring forth your strong reasons, saith the King of Jacob. The strong reason that man had to go that midnight and knock at somebody's door who does you open is that he had need of bread. What of you? What strong reason do you have to be here today? Number one, he is his friend. If Christ is your friend, then go boldly before him. Secondly, tell him the reason why he must answer you today. And let him know that this year is going on this year must be different from last year for somebody here. Tell him this is the reason I am here this night. And why? I know you can answer my prayers. I know you can change my situation. 
I know that thing I am believing God for that I am going next week. I know if I come here this night and present it to you, I will meet with success. I know my expectation that have been hanging, you can release it. I know the door of blessing that has been closed against me. Only you can do what no man can. Say it, everyone. Only you, Only you can do. God, God told him and told her that he is a God that answers prayers. What of you? Who do you know him to be? Another sister here knows him as the mighty one in battle. Hallelujah. A brother here knows him as the one that opens shut doors. No man can close it. Somebody here, you know him as the one that has the final say over your life. Somebody here, you know him as the destiny changer. Do you know why we worship him before we begin to ask him to do anything? We tell him we know who he is and we begin to confess his attributes. Then he comes down and says, this one truly know me now. Let me confirm to him his confession. I'm going to tell the Lord, I know who you are. I know, I know you. And tell him, I know who you are. That's why I am here. I know you can do it. That's why I am here. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Who do you know him to be? He's a destiny changer. He's the one that rearranges my life. Lord Jesus Christ, shall we go? I know who you are. Open your mouth and let's worship him before we pray. I know who you are. I know who you are. I have evidence to prove who you are. I know who you are.
Tell him you know who he is. Tell him I know who you are. I know who you are. worship that is how to worship God to tell him you know who he is because not everyone knows who he is and you can never relate with God beyond who you know him to be if you know him to be a God that answers prayers then prayer will be sweet for you it will not be stressful for you if you know him to be a situation changer, then you will never be stressed. Frustration can never be your portion because you know he can rearrange you. We are going to pray, church. Why are you here tonight? We are going to tell the Lord. What are you believing him for? I'm give you, going to give you enough time to talk to him. And please, you are free to take any prayer position you like. Because I'm going to give you 15 minutes to talk to God. In 15 minutes, tell the Lord. Talk to him as a father. Talk to him as one that hears you. Talk to him with the assurance that he says, if you ask, you will receive. If you knock, it will be open to you. Present that matter before him. Present yourself before him. Hallelujah. Prevention is better than cure. Tell the Lord certain things you don't want to come near you. There are certain sicknesses I tell the Lord, let it not come near me. There are certain situations I don't want to face. Let it keep them far, 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 far from me. Somebody, prevention is better than cure. Don't wait until there is a problem before you start to pray against it. Tell the Lord to keep them far. Tell the Lord you want to live in peace. 
Therefore, anything that will disturb your peace, Father, keep it far from me. Hallelujah. Tell the Lord, I want to walk closer to you, closer with you. I want to see your presence. Tell the Lord, I want a better and sweeter relationship with you. Tell the Lord, I want my situation to be, my level, spiritual level to be different from what I am now. And tell the Lord, when you want to start to give your testimony, because you came here tonight, lift up your right hand to heaven. Because he's going to touch somebody here tonight. He has been touching you every day. Sing this song with me as you raise your hand up. Touch me one more time. Oh, Sing it, everybody. Touch me now. Touch, Touch me, me one, one more time. time. Oh, Lord. I need a touch. on your chest because I know somebody here you need a touch you need a touch one touch that will change your situation father how many Lord how many Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior.
cannot do without you, Lord. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Say, I cannot do without you. Oh, Lord. I cannot do without you. Say, say. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Do without you. I cannot 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 do without you. with God that's the reason we are here that's why you have sacrificed your sleep tonight we didn't come here to look at one another's face we came to meet Jesus he's the only one that can do what no man can do Lord Jesus Christ shall we go this is why I am here tonight Lord talk to him talk to him talk to him your strong reasons. Bring forth your strong reasons.
Thank him for the answer. Thank him for the answer. Thank him for the answer. Oh, thank him for the answer. He answers prayers. He answers prayers. Nothing prayers cannot do. Jesus answers prayers. Nothing prayers cannot do. Jesus answers prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. We are not talking to empty air. There is a God somewhere that answers prayers. And it's not far, he's here. I said that God is here. If we don't believe, we won't come here. And because you came here, no problem that follow you here will follow you home in the name of Jesus. I made that pronouncement again because I know what I say will come to pass. If you believe. Every year, Anna, we go to Shiloh, but there was one final Shiloh going. Every Friday night you go to bride assembly and one particular prayer point you have been praying today is the last time for that prayer point. I know I'm talking to somebody now. Every Friday since the beginning of the year particular prayer point, particular prayer point, particular prayer point. You didn't go to any minister or job between you and God. I'm talking to somebody. I declare today is the last time you offer that prayer. Church, listen carefully. Tonight is a different night. Lamentation 337 says something. No man saith a word, and it cometh to pass, except commanded by the Holy Ghost. You can see a clear confirmation that is a restoration night. Wherever they have kept you hostage, wherever they have locked your glory, the anointing tonight will set you free. If your amen can be louder than your neighbor. Receive the breakthrough. We are going to make a prayer now. Some are born, ordained from their mother's womb. All they do is to liberate people from chains and bounds. I am one of them. And the Lord spoke to Joshua in Joshua chapter 1. He said, Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. Be courageous. Anywhere the soles of your feet shall tread upon, you shall possess. And tonight, Somebody you will possess your possession. We are going to make a prayer now. The first one we are going to pray is like this. Every satanic assignment against the church, against my life, my family, let that assignment backfire to sender. Do you hear what I'm talking about? When the enemies release satanic assignment, they don't stop until they conclude. The satanic assignment can come in so many ways. Somebody might embark on a project. At the point of concluding that project, they might send a projection. Somebody will be building a house. At the end of it all, 
For you to move into the house you have built, they will fire stroke. That is satanic assignment. But Job chapter 5 verse 12 will answer them tonight. The Lord has disappointed the hands of the crusty so that they shall not carry out their enterprise. Every hands of the crafty tonight, the angel of the Lord will change them tonight. If you believe that your deliverance is tonight, give your neighbor a high five and shout amen. Move to another neighbor, say neighbor. Tonight, every satanic assignment against me is destroyed. Shout amen. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. I can know you say in the name of Jesus. Every satanic assignment against this church, against my family, Wherever you are coming from, I command you tonight, backfire by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Pray, 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 pray. Where is the satanic assignment coming from? Is it from the north, east, and west? Is it from Ijesha? Every satanic assignment. Reka, ba, 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 ba. Reka, sekele. Reka, ba, 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 ba. Reka, ta, reba, sendele, bo. Stop them, stop them, stop them tonight. Stop them tonight. Stop the satanic assignment tonight. Stop them, stop them, stop them. Stop them tonight. They will not operate in this church. They will not operate in your life. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. When I heard it's a restoration night, how do you confirm if God is the one speaking? There will be some signs to confirm. Our daddy was leading prayers, worshiping God. People were falling under anointing. All of a sudden, the angel of the prophetic came and he began to mention cases. Whoever that came here with any problem, you will not cross this door with that problem in the name of Jesus. What I saw, the chains and bounds, they are not ordinary. Some of them could be ancestral. Some of them could be one wicked uncle or auntie or stepmother or stepbrother. The second prayer point we're going to do tonight, any man in charge of my family case, your time is up. Any woman in charge of my family case, your time is And Acts of the Apostles chapter 23 verse 12 said something that some group of people bonded themselves in an oath and said they will neither eat or drink until Apostle Paul was brought down. Some of these evil men, they enter into so many covenants to make sure that their family, not your family, is brought to nothing. The Bible said before you enter a strong man's house, you first bind the strong man. Are you ready to bind that strong man tonight? If you are ready, can I hear you say yes? If you are ready, can I hear you say, I hear you. If you are a living soul, shout fire. If you are a living soul, shout fire everywhere. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. Every strong man, strong woman, in charge of my family case. What are you waiting for? Your time is on. Wherever you are, open your mouth and holler prayer. Pray, 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 pray. It's a night of prayer. It's a night of restoration. Reka pasoto libra. Egerebo shalaba. Reka gaderebos. Embragadelia. Lekapatoria. Sekaribade. Egelede. 
They cannot stop you. You are a believer. You are a covenant child. Pull her out of that garment. Come out of that garment. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Listen, listen. Listen very well. The Lord told some people to leave their houses and come here tonight. He said, this night, they should come that they will receive their deliverance this yes, night. Sir. And somebody at the altar here is making pronouncement. I mean, they look like cinema. Hey. Anyway, listen. I was standing there and I received a revelation. I said, see, take this prayer point that there is a serious gang up to pull down somebody. Listen. Can we, see, can we see this scripture? That same scripture again. Job chapter 5 verse 12. That popular scripture. Job chapter 5 verse 12. This is what he says. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Every counsel of the enemy shall be disappointed today. I had to go and tap Brother Cosmas. I said, Brother Cosmas, see what I'm seeing concerning you. And he said, he confirmed it. He said, just last week, a fraud was discovered in his company by a number of them. Hallelujah. Sir, if you don't mind, sir. Sir, come and kneel down here. My God does not show me something without solution. Hallelujah. Sir, just kneel down here. It doesn't matter. Let this dirty scatter your... You know, you know, you know, as I was sitting next to you there, I was taking my heart and say, hey, see where my level now reach now. <laughs> see the kind of people when they sit down near them now. I can't sit down. That, that was the time I crossed my leg. Somebody, your condition will change from tonight. The people that you, you never dreamt of that you will get near them, they will be your closest friends. Let's take this prayer point first. Take this prayer point. Any assignment going on to pull me down, Lord, scatter them, scatter them. Open your mouth and scatter. Every evil assignment, gang up to pull me down, gang up to finish me, gang up to bring me down. Jehovah, arise, arise. pull me down. I say you cannot pull me down. Scatter them. Lord, not 
nothing will put me down. Nothing can put me down. Oh. name is Brother Cosmas Maduka. We will pray, Lord, any plan to bring him down, scatter it, scatter it, uplift him, restore him, expose the enemy all around him, put them to shame, and lift him up. Oh, blood of Jesus Christ, speak for Brother Maduka, shall we go? Speak for Brother Maduka, open your mouth and pray. Scatter the plan of the enemy to bring him down. Nothing will bring you down. Nothing will bring you down. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Your amen will mean so much to this pronouncement. Brother Cosmos, we stand as a church. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we stand as your brethren and we stand by the grace of the blood of Jesus Christ. And we say, the Lord that has uplifted you that hand is still holding you yeah. nothing will pull you down in the name of Jesus Christ yeah. in your company in your organization the Lord will expose your enemies yeah. one by one oh yes Lord all they have stolen from you one by one, they will return them to you. I said they will not have peace until they return all they have stolen back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Including the occultic settings. Where they have placed your name for manipulation. I say it again. They will scatter. They will scatter. It will not work against you in the name of Jesus Christ. The works of your hand remain blessed. Open it, sir. 
The work of your hand remain blessed. Remain blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will go higher than you have ever been before. You will go higher than you have ever expected. I say it again. New doors of blessing shall be opened for you. And the evil hand upon you has been cut off. At this altar, sir, we restore you. The Lord restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, just use this hand and clap your hand for Jesus. Can you also clap your hand there?